Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you some of my Windows PowerShell scripts I acquired over the years. I will be demonstrating this in the Windows PowerShell ISE, which stands for Integrated Scripting Environment. In the ISE, you can run commands in a single Windows-based graphic user interface. Some of the benefits of using ISE is tab completion, syntax coloring, selective execution, and more. The first one will print out the alphabet in lowercase. There's two ways to execute this script. One way is to click this green play button and which will run the script or click the F5 button and it will do the same. And I will be doing both methods. Click the play button and down below is the output of the script, which is the alphabet in lowercase. We can do the same thing, print the alphabet in uppercase. And what's nice about this script is it puts the output onto the clipboard. So if I go to a notepad and do a control V to paste, you can see the alphabet in uppercase. You may be wondering, how is this printed out? Let me go to the lowercase again. So you see the 97 through 122. Those are char numbers. So the 97 corresponds to the lowercase a. 98 will be lowercase b. And you can also do this in Excel. So if I type in 97, highlight the whole column, do a fill series, and I want to stop at 122. This prints 97 through 122. And then I'm going to issue this function, char. So it says returns the character specified by the code number. Hit tab, A1. And now it translates into lowercase. If I hover over and click the lower right corner and double click, it's going to send it down. So you see 97 through 122, it's the A through Z alphabet. Same thing goes to uppercase. Uppercase goes from 65 to 90. I'm going to clear everything out. 65. Fill series to 90. Char function A1. Send it down, A through Z. That's how it extracted the values. You can also print the alphabet out in a grid view. I'm going to press F5 on my keyboard. And this is called the grid view, which you can interact further. You can add criteria, and then you can do some filtering on. So I'm going to say D as David X. So it, it's a, serves as a filtering application. Let's do the same thing and print the uppercase out in a grid view. What's also neat about this one is, see how I have it here on line 11, output grid view, and I gave it the grid view a title. So alphabet uppercase, and then the count, it counts how many objects are returned. So 65 to 90 are 
26 letters in the alphabet. So you can also do that. Here's a neat one, array looping. So this is a simple array script. It will print, this is line number starting from one, and it's gonna loop through 10. So if I press this, it prints the stuff below. This one is a useful one. This will create a folder with the name 2021 and it will create it under this directory and then also what the script does it will create subfolders and name them as this month month and then the year 2021 and then within that subfolder it will create another directory called monthly log. So to demonstrate this, let's go ahead and run this. So here is the 2021 under this directory. If I drill down into this, here is the output. Month, month, in this format and then it prints out the actual January, Feb, Mar, April, you know. And then within each of these folders is a subfolder called monthly log. And inside here, there's nothing in it. But you can see the power, how fast it created these folders and subfolders. So within each, folder there is a subfolder called monthly log you can also create folders named one through whatever value you provide in here so in this case this will create folders 1 through 12 with a single button click and here it is folders 1 through 12. Inside of them, I didn't specify any subfolders. Here is another one. You can create folders A through Z with one button. Let's go ahead and run this. And this created folders A through Z. This one is a cool script. It does some file manipulation. So basically, let's go ahead and read this description. It creates a text file with the alphabet A through Z in a column style, so a horizontal style. And then it converts that file into a row style, a vertical, and adds a comma in between each letter. So if you had to do this manually, this would take some time. But with PowerShell, if you script it correctly, it runs within seconds. So here it is. Here's the alphabet file that has the alphabet A through Z in a vertical. And here is the new sorted alphabet which took those values and comma separated them so it's pretty neat it shows you the power of powershell and this one is also pretty neat so this will convert a string to a binary output in this case i wrote hello and thanks for watching please subscribe and this will print out this string into a binary format, which is a bunch of zeros, ones. And then it will start Firefox and go to this binary translator web page that I came across. And then it puts 
the binary values on the clipboard. And let's go ahead and demonstrate this. So I'm going to press F5. So now the binary values are on my clipboard. And let's go ahead and change this from binary to text. Do a paste. And as you can see on the left side, so these are the binary values, which if you look at them, you have no idea what they mean. But this translator translates whatever I wrote in that string. So this can be useful if you want to maybe send passwords to people, but you don't want to actually send the real password in like a string format. You can convert it into a binary, which it is not the safest also way because these are very easy to crack. But it's a cool script that kind of does that for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be putting out more PowerShell scripts and stay tuned and please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.